Yet another Wee Bombastic Few episode. Let's go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is 61. I believe that's confirmed this time around. Unlike Brent's lies that he tried to introduce you to last week. Uh, speaking of Brent, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Only if you subscribe to Linear Number Theory. Which I do not, because why would I? Exactly. I, I bet you linear number theories, specifically something other than a linear number theory exists out there, right? Non-linear number theory. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I subscribe to. And you can trust me because I have a minor in mathematics. You can trust me because I'm a math guy. So with our powers combined, <laughs> I get somewhere. 61 doesn't exist. 61 is not a real number. And I'm Daniel. Yes. <laughs> Playing Brent's sidekick today. Unashamedly. Uh, today's segments, we have mini qualgorithm, like always, and by always I mean most recently, uh, and then a hypothetical, because what is a podcast without a hypothetical? And seven degrees of separation, and Brent will run us through that uh, inside of segment C. Before we get started, though, um, the manager has been putting in some work on uh, a certain social media platform and has gotten a little bit of traction, a little bit of communication with other people. So hopefully the manager brings in those uh, people. Uh, if you're listening to the first time, shout out to you, uh, random Twitter people, because uh, you're loved and welcome. And I feel like the manager should have a name. <laughs> It's weird that he doesn't, <laughs> and it's been so many episodes. Well, it's, it's yeah. been a reoccurring Fre thing. Frederick which is, deserves better. Which is <laughs> why I've left the How manager. How are you going to Frederick like that for 61 <laughs> episodes? How have we not brought up Frederick for 61 episodes? He's, he's more than just the manager. He's Frederick. <laughs> the editor, however, screw him. He yeah. still doesn't get a name. Yeah, that, that guy. It's not even a him, it's uh, an it. We're just going to call the editor an it. Uh, we should make sure the editor cuts this out in post so that the editor doesn't hear it. Exactly. Um, Interesting. The, and l let's for real blame the editor. They uploaded a YouTube video that was accidentally compressed, and so the audio would play at three times speed for the first third of the video, and then there was no audio for the rest of the video. And it took them like a full hour to notice after it was uploaded and then fix it. Huh. It sounds like something that a substitute for the editor might do. No, I'm pretty sure it was the fault of they didn't know the editor was not able to do it, so the editor had to do it. it it's a whole editor thing. You wouldn't understand because you're not an editor. Yeah, you know, we're, this, we're not we're not the editor or substitute editor. This is a very vital conversation and information you're bringing forth because today's bombastic word is stumblebum, a clumsy person. And I believe the editor or the stand-in for the editor potentially was a stumblebum. Mm, I wouldn't qualify that as clumsy. But I think your argument is Philippendulous. Philippendulous. Look at that. I think that's sure. the first time we've ever brought over um, <laughs> a, a bombastic word. At least consciously. It's not the first time, you fig hoot. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I don't want to flox and alphapilificate this entire conversation. Okay, let's not bring in too much should move on. FOMO material for our new listeners. Uh, if you want to hear Brent's uh, and Daniel's uh, FOMO jokes, listen to the other episodes and maybe you will feel uh, involved. What a fag hoot and salad is nothing to flox and alphapilificate. and nots and a hillification. And also blimps are air submarines. <laughs> Okay, and an attempt to not be a stumble bum, I'm going to jump right into the second round of Lindsay's hot take. I thought I'd bring this back already because I feel like hot takes might uh, bring uh, more interesting topics than random whatever comes to my mind. Uh, and today's uh, hot take is uh, I don't I don't get it doesn't do anything for me. When someone asks me for help and they say, can you help me with blank? Uh, whoever said they would do it, but they work or they have to do this. Like that doesn't that. Why? Why is that going to motivate me to help the person out? Like if I'm, I'm already going to help out or not. 
And if they work, obviously you know they work because this is like during the time of a normal 40 hour a week work day. So why why would you bring up that this person you would have had this person do it if they didn't work? Like that's a given. You're you're letting them the person know that you are by no means their first choice. It's like, listen, I really didn't want to come to you. This other guy said he was going to help me, but I had no other option. Yeah, I I, I just don't. Understand. So I have to settle for you. Yeah. You, you, you tear them down, and then they want to they want to prove themselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To you. They're going to try <laughs> even harder to give you good advice and help you out. They're going to go the extra mile because they're like, I'm better than Frederick. I can I can manage better than he can. Yes, sure. Or Frederick. But, this episode. Yeah, like, in all seriousness, like, I get that they want to provide the information of they've went elsewhere to attempt to do it, uh, to get someone else to do it rather than me. But why would that change? Like, that that does not increase or decrease my ability or desire to help. So why even include? Why is that? A, why is that saying a thing? I wouldn't even say that's a saying. I hear saying. a lot of people say that. You don't say but, it. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I just don't think it... I don't know what the qualifications for something to be a saying is, but it doesn't feel like it meets them, whatever those qualifications something are. Something commonly it's said. Just, it's just it's information given. All right, all right. I feel like we should do a role play situation here. Uh, Lindsay, say the thing to Brent. Are you asking me to put my own... Yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, hey, Brent, can you come over and cut my grass? Uh, my brother would do it, but he's at work. And well, cut your own grass, you lazy <laughs> son of a biscuit. Hmm. Sure. Does that help yeah, you, I think Daniel? Brent. I think Brent turned it into a saying, and so <laughs> I would give it sometimes, almost like why as a vowel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. All right. Sorry, I got distracted because I finished off my water. You were not talking I'm to the mic sad. whatsoever. I'm just, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> He's <laughs> angry. Um, I'm furious. Uh, I was also furious the other day when I was typing and I sausage fingered my letters. And instead of typing the word ghost, I typed G-J-I-D-T, which all the letters are adjacent to the letters I meant to type but slightly off um and autocorrect did not recognize i was trying to type ghost or no no, no i'm sorry i like if i did that sometimes it'll recognize oh these letters are all next to where you're typing he wants a ghost i got my story back i'm sorry i should have read my notes better the one that made me mad is i accidentally typed strategy as strategy and it didn't know i was trying to type strategy <laughs> Autocorrect is the like it was the first AI and it is the worst AI, <laughs> and I don't think I think they j it's by law they have to keep it the same. Yeah, um, they're not allowed to improve upon it. I forget whatsoever. there was one that I something that I typed the other day. If I remember right, it was like the first letter was incorrect out of like a seven plus letter word. I forget exactly what it was, but like you should the you would think that the the AI or however you want to describe it would know what it is, but uh, no tragic story. Like sometimes as well. I'll like slightly mess up a word and it'll opt to think I meant to put a space in there and make two words that were both misspelled <laughs> than one word with like two letters out of <laughs> order. Yeah. The what happened? Like I'll have it all the time. Like you're saying where like my uh, hands are not, my like pointer finger ears are not resting on f and j and they'll be shifted by one and then i'll type something out and like it it'll i'll type a solid sentence and it's like what is this gibberish that i'm <laughs> typing like i swear i'm doing it right and then you realize that your uh hands are shifted and so my solution is we should just have one key on the keyboard because that way you'd never lose where um I, I hear they might... I know of a company that's doing this. They might sponsor a future episode. 
um, but there's only one key, and so you don't have to worry about your hands being in the wrong place. You know, this is an interesting point. If we switch to uh, the Mark Twain system of writing that he brought up in that one, you know, famous satirical essay where he keeps removing rules of English uh, to, like, simplify the alphabet, and, the like, every time he introduces a new rule, he starts writing his, like, reasoning it with that rule, and so by the end, it's, like, totally broken English, or, it, like, everything looks wrong, but he's like, yeah, we don't need the letter X, we could just use CKS, and we don't really need the letter C, because sometimes it makes a K sound, sometimes it makes an S sound, and, you know, stuff like that. Hmm. So if we did that, and then removed all the letters that he thought we should remove from the keyboard, it would be much harder to mess up in that way because well, there would be less keys to press you know hawaiians only got 13 uh characters right so if we start with hawaiian and then work our way down i'm sure i'm sure there are a couple redundant letters within hawaiian and we just need to vowels consonants they're the same thing when yeah. you really think about it how how many different sounds do we use with english that's a hard thing to quantify because yeah. what do you qualify as a different sound hmm i remember i saw this chart one time and it showed like it was basically like how you position your tongue and how you like shape your mouth or something that like categorized how different sounds are made and then there just are, are these empty spaces that we no language uses for like this tongue position and this mouth whatever hmm I was like, oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Um, Speak. Go ahead. I was just going to say, going back to keyboard, I was, uh, I heard the uh, the point that we should no longer, the argument that we should no longer use the uh, standard uh, staggered keyboard style. We should go to a more ergonomic grid, like grid style layout keyboard as our fingers are better at extending or, um, I guess retracting maybe, uh, rather than going cross uh, up into the side or down to the side. I wouldn't be opposed Palms. to learning that keyboard, like learning a more grid style keyboard. Okay, so you know how? Yeah, all right, interesting idea in my head, but you know how? Like on smartphones, a lot of them now have where you can swipe, s swipe across the letters and it'll like smart guess the word you wanted. Mm -hmm. What if, to like Lindsay's point, we had keyboards that were just a screen and like if you put your, whatever finger you put down first, it starts that as a word, but then you could use your other, like any other finger to do another one at the same time and it's registering the motion of both at once, but it just remembers this word came before that word. So like if I said me and you and i would start with one finger on the me and then at the same time i'm going and with my second finger and you and then if it remembered which finger came down first it doesn't matter which order i finish every word two things one i don't think your like people's brains could keep up with that two you said the me key the and key and the you key and so you don't have those on your keyboard yeah. i just have like little macros saved because yeah. they're words i use all the time <laughs> i mean honestly like the word the i feel like you could you could totally come up you could, man let's just talk about keyboards the rest of this episode <laughs> like let's add the like the 10 most common words as hotkeys like no one uses the function keys get out of here we that's 12 words we could have as macros <laughs> the and you me i is already a key <laughs> All right. It, uh, Dan, most common words in the English language. Well, I was just get yeah, exactly. Daniel, you have to look away. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm not looking. It's in English. Okay. So the first one's obviously the. Can anyone guess the second? And. Yeah. It'd be. I think it'd be a uh, an. Slash an. Would that would those. Well, to be it. And is number five. So. Okay. I would say you, just you realize it can't family feud. Family feud it. <laughs> you he it cannot hear you whatsoever from directly behind. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it, it, it can hear me a little. So bit. I right, would. I'm just gonna. Is it just the letter A? Ah. Uh, Here it's on this screen now. Okay. Um. 
Okay, it starts with a B. But. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Daniel got it. It is but. But is the... the oh, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. I was thinking B-U-T-T. Um, I mean, we talk about butts all the time. Mm-hmm. Everyone does. Okay, it's be, like the verb, to be. B. Um, okay. Third, third most common. We're only doing the five. Wait, well, do we get the letter? Or just go for it. Or, it's two letters. Or, no. <laughs> An. No. Of. No. <laughs> of is no. number four. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two. two letter words you, your hint two. is two yes i just <laughs> said that no he didn't uh, oh <laughs> my Editor, sure gosh say that. <laughs> why do one. i participate in this podcast uh okay and give me the 37th most common um ugly four unfair i can't believe you guys are this dumb it's new oh silly me yeah i shouldn't have known or i should have known that none of uh whatever fanboys is called for and or but or yet so oh um right anyway what are those called this is gonna bother me prepositions i don't know i didn't there's no way those are prepositions (laughs) because i didn't know what a preposition was for like years after i should have i actually i don't think i ever really learned i don't know what a preposition is conjunctions conjunction I'm just gonna list right. every part of conjunction, speech. Conjunction, conjunction. Vowels. What's your function? They're probably I think they're vowels. Con- they're conjunctions. Pretty sure they're vowels. <laughs> anyway, I've listened to Schoolhouse Rock. Did you know that? So if you if so they did studies, right? They they put you in a room with no windows, and they give you a uh, a stapler, and also a clipboard, and on this clipboard is a picture of a face and a multiple choice of four options of names and they have you guess what that person's name is just by looking at their face uh what would you guess people's ability to guess what the correct name is i'd say more than 50 percent. i would say less than 20 percent statistic so Lindsay, why would you say 50 percent if statistically speaking you would expect 25 percent because i forget like it's just somewhat off a whim but like i have heard some some studies about some people knowing names being able to guess people's names by their face like some people it just works for some people uh and like how they look uh, so I'd guess I'm gonna guess I'm just gonna say fifty percent would be able to guess it. Well, so like that that is the phenomenon I'm speaking on, but without knowing a percentage, why would you guess fifty percent? That's very drastic. Because it seems like because it's a phenomenon that I've heard of, that like the number had to have been somewhat like notably large. So I went large. Okay. So it is a crazy percentage. It's anywhere from 30 to 40%. Okay. Yeah. I was definitely off. But I knew it was a big number. More than 25%. Yeah. The, and the, like the lowest they got is 29%, which is just very, so there are like many studies about, um, if you're like, you conform to your name basically. And, the based on the the those numbers you would expect that so i apparently people do how but. how do you really like explain or try to like what how do you how do you formulate a theory that says that like do you say okay your personality do you think it's like uh people picture because like you can't just say other people tend to picture a certain person because this is a brand new face in theory. Uh, and I, I can't imagine the phenomena is supernatural enough that your facial structure would change based on hearing what your name is. So I, I, I'm guessing your personality somewhat is affected by it. Is that what people... New hypothetical, your name affects your looks and personality. I mean that that is what this study is more or less proving. 
it is not the only factor but it is a large factor yeah um the so there's a lot of different theories as to why it could happen but honestly so like the thing that interests me less is so it interests me less that like the phenomenon or i guess it it's less interesting to me that people look like their names what's more interesting to me is that people can identify what name someone looks like yeah i feel like that's the more interesting part um because like the specifically there have been plenty of times where they ask a person why'd you choose that name and they just said no i don't know it's just instinct or that like just they look like Mm -hmm. insert name here and i think that's the interesting part and like they can for example one example they give the name bob they uh you is tied to rounded features uh and the one theory is that like the letters of bob are very round but Hmm. I don't necessarily like that theory specific. I don't know. I just find it very interesting that people can guess. Like, they, it's just crazy that you have a natural instinct as to what they do look like. Yeah. I, I, I've I've heard of it, and I find it wild. But I I obviously don't understand it as it's only I'm a theory, not um, proven, like a fully proven thing. In this study. Did they ever, like, show five faces and five names, and each name goes with a face, and you have to match all of them to the right one? I'd be curious to see how accurate it gets at that point when you have a lot of faces in the mix. You you have all the right answers, but you don't know where they go. Yeah. I didn't read the entirety of the study, but, um... I, I, I it's been done many times it was not a single study and i'd be interested to know if that variation exists but i do not know i wonder if there's any study on how often people get like just a standard for a question multiple choice uh one right is it does it fall strictly at 25 percent, or does it fall a little bit above that which would correlate more to this assuming that you have absolutely no knowledge on what the correct answer is it would be 25 percent. well yes in theory but if there was anything else to go on ever so slight uh information uh base information on the question uh from a class you took before or that led up to it maybe then just at that guessing. point it's not guessing okay well, but like maybe I mean, you can apply well, well, the same mindset the same idea to this maybe it isn't 100 percent just facial uh correlation it's just like multiple choice happens that some people just it tends that they pick the right one out of four like 30 percent of the time rather than 25 i wonder if the phenomenon reaches beyond this this the situation you're describing um is very similar to the situation early on in Avatar The Last Airbender when uh, they go to the Earth Kingdom and Aang meets his childhood friend, Boomy. Mm-hmm. And he puts him through these series of riddles in the last one because Aang doesn't know it's Boomy for the longest time. And then Boomy's like, all right, your, your final test, what is my name? But he, he has to go off all this random information he's gotten from the other riddles yeah i don't exactly see the correlation to what we it's, were just talking it's the about same th- he had to figure out the guy's name and he had very small bits of additional information like Lindsay was just saying but what i'm saying is that is no like the the fact that there was any indicator whatsoever means that it's not pure guessing which is what you would expect well, right. you would the, the, expect the, the you study, would expect the that there expect is absolute yeah because yeah. you would expect that there's absolutely no correlation or no knowledge they that they could have about that person's name yeah i was just talking yeah he was you just wanted to talk about avatar the last airbender well, which was he said maybe think favor about it. i had of, to get it out i encourage it i am wearing my avatar the last airbender t-shirt right now that my sister gave me for christmas two years ago so uh 
You can talk about Avatar for the rest of the podcast if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm also wearing my Avatar The Last Airbender t-shirt that my sister got me for Christmas two years ago. I did not believe so, you. For this a is a lie. Second. There's a magic carp on his t-shirt. <laughs> it's related. Same universe. That is true. Okay. Sure. Speaking of getting universes mixed up and not knowing where you are, the bombastic quote for today not all those who are lost wander and now the hypothetical so the group that was doing this study on recognizing face recognizing faces wanted to expand the scope of the experiment and they received permission from all the governments everyone was deeply in support of this and the department of transportation globally um, was a big funder um, to make this possible and they wanted to be able to do like Lindsay said and have more additional information on people and see if their names could be guessed and so they created almost this truman show like situation where nobody has any privacy like at any point no matter what you're doing Anyone can look in and see you and know what you're doing at that exact moment, except for a small window of time from like, say, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. So how would this uh, how would this change things? And would people be able to guess names on an even higher percentage? <laughs> the, so my first question, right? So like, I'm curious why uh i don't know let's just say someone didn't show up on time for the podcast right let's say i wanted to look up exactly what they were doing at that time is this like a google search can i just like go on google and search insert name here and then a time code well and just see know exactly. see at this point like and this is this takes place in the future uh canon future uh and we, life, we yeah. all have <laughs> augmented reality glasses so you literally just have to like think about them and it just is projected onto uh your your screen i guess through your that lens. makes more sense i was i was picturing of it it more like an omegle thing <laughs> like you just like <laughs> queue up and it pulls up someone yeah. so you is don't there, know but yeah, anyone yeah. could be watching you at any time <laughs> yeah. yeah i kind of like that 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 we should do that one as a hypothetical is that you can only interact with other people through omegle and <laughs> that's the hypothetical anyway that's next week um the so yeah so i explained I this thought. as uh you get like during this 10 to a 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh. Uh, time frame, which is we're going to set for uh, the privacy hours, we are getting uh, no additional privacy than we do today. So, like, if you are doing uh, illegal gambling in your basement, people could still break into your house and see it at that time. It's just people cannot just, uh, without warning, investigate what you're doing. Uh, so you have to put a tarp over your uh your poker table in your house uh during the day and then at during this time you can consider your casino but you have to have a bouncer at the door pretty much but if it's like if it's during the day then they, they can see underneath the tarp right i mean it's not something that you're specifically doing i but think like what if i think i think records is something different i think uh, as long as the creation of it and everything about every interaction that you've done with it has stayed within this time frame, you're good. But if you're any, if you have any uh, interaction with this uh, object that proves that you are doing in-house gambling uh, uh, on your personal property, I guess, then uh, people can know that you did it. That you're like, okay so yeah. self-incrimination the big, pretty much the biggest thing and this is across literally everything there is bandwidth and i don't mean that in just like a technical term for the internet i'm talking like power grids the like internet bandwidth 
and even like specifically i was thinking bathrooms that like because people in general i'm gonna guess are gonna want to shower and use the bathroom only between 10 p.m and 2 a.m more or less oh yeah and like so that uh going to the doctor to find out about like pretend was something you're worried might be cancer you want to go out during this hour instead of some other time because you don't want the world i feel to like know. that that's too petty it's like that sorry but like you're just gonna have to some things you're gonna have to not care about anymore and that's gonna be one of them oh yeah um yeah i agree but i think some people still want to like that's just another sensitive family affair that you want to like be able to tell your family before the world pretty much but you're not going to be able to some people are like that uh, the password like i think the biggest thing is just the internet in general is gonna have to have a complete overhaul yeah because banking sites and all all forms of sites that require a password yeah uh, anything with security has to be open like 10 p.m to 2 8 is that local is that where big Be- at big ben's 10 p.m to 2 a.m yeah it's very specifically the london standard uh time zone no let's I don't know what... let's make it uh like it it uh, is uh relative to the time zone so it's, i okay. feel like <laughs> now it's some very interesting things because now you just need to be rich enough to continually be traveling in the like the right direction on the world right and so you can always be in quote unquote private hours. Yeah, um, I I think so that th- so the rich people never have to worry about it. Basically, well, yeah, what exactly. Is? So there's there's potential, and like that helps like a bigger company that's already big just because it has locations elsewhere. Uh, like say, uh, someone in uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, someone say working Do the on math on <laughs> no just make sure i got the uh everything right uh so let's say uh gosh i'm like having let's see one tokyo minus one London. yeah so pretty much like say <laughs> say you have a company that's that's global and you have uh people working this shift this uh privacy shift every uh evening well, you're going to, when you're done, you're going to send it off to, before your shift's almost over, you're going to send it off to someone going to be working the same project out uh, in the next time zone or whatever, whoever's working the same company in a different place. So uh, another thing, so like strategizing in general, whether it be a sports team or uh, compete a company that you know you're competing with a different company, uh, Apple and 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 Android or Samsung, whatever you want to call it, they're like uh, hoping that they mess up and uh, someone actually stays clocked in too long and has documents out so they can read it. But uh, so they people invest in that, but in reality, uh, they will they won't let some simple mistake like that put their company under. Trade secrets are an interesting thing, right? Because technically, like currently, there's no like you can learn a trade secret and like it can be yours just because it's not patented or uh like copyrighted Mm -hmm. and so i don't know the it's interesting yeah i i like i'm trying to decide how it would play out with those yeah what if you're on the international space station then you go by the moon. You go by the moon. Whatever time zone <laughs> the moon's in. Mm-hmm. Wherever you are relative to it. Relative to the earth. <laughs> relative to the sun. Relative to the sun. Relative to the Milky Way. Of course. Right. Relative, relative to the center of the universe. Which is relative to this dimension. Yes. Relative to the other ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is relative to existence. Mm-hmm. Which is relative to non-existence. And so if you want true privacy, you just have to make yourself relatively close to non-existence. Yeah. I think exactly. I think this time frame could even show like who people like who trusts or yeah, who trusts you and who don't. Because if you're hanging out 
late one weekend and they're like i'm not with you at this time pretty much like you know that they're not they don't trust you to be on their like uh whatever uh shenanigans they're about to be up to well but you can just find out what they're doing no right? like if if this like no like as the privacy window comes along if you're hanging if brent and i are hanging out on a friday evening uh we could stay up late because we don't have work in the morning uh, and we're old people we could stay up a little later and if 10 o'clock rolls around I'm like all right brent like i'm peacing out like that kind of shows you that like i don't trust you whatsoever because whatever i'm doing during the privacy hour like i i like you're not involved still i think that still shows like i don't know i feel i feel like i would peace out because it's like sorry i gotta go to like trade stocks and like i don't know use the bathroom <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. i haven't gone all day <laughs> like i don't know why you still want to hang out <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like there's just enough situations where, like, you know, you have to go to the bathroom. That just becomes something you just, like, well, forget it. We're just sending it. It's, it doesn't we're matter if it's not private it. time. I'm, I I got to – You just I, I have to release. I, I'm sorry. I'm highly regulated. <laughs> Very disciplined. You just, like, so. wear diapers, and you don't – no one sees or knows exactly that you're doing But it. you can't change the diaper Correct. until the private hour. Correct. If everyone starts wearing diapers. That's a big thing, and that makes sports really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also makes watching movies easier because you never have to get up right yeah that's fair and <laughs> actually and you know the other thing is the there's only one real place that you could truly trust to keep your records private even dur specifically during private hours oh yeah maybe mm -hmm. even maybe blockbuster could respect uh <laughs> the privacy of video rentals even outside of uh it's the one establishment that's exempt from the privacy <laughs> yeah within the confines of their walls everything yep. remains a secret <laughs> Yeah. It, it becomes the speakeasy of the new yeah. era. Like, what happens in Blockbuster stays in Blockbuster. What about the Blockbuster within Las Vegas? Is that like just like a black hole of information? It's the black market, literally. <laughs> you, you can hire a hitman <laughs> there. You can get you can get whatever you need. Yeah. Some, something the, you want a pet tiger? They got it there. Dang, no problem. Uh, does anyone else else have any ideas? no <laughs> okay <laughs> Lindsay, any other final thoughts i think i've presented everything i could I had okay to. so uh while we've recording i realized i did get an email from single key keyboard and so the <laughs> sponsor we were gonna have this week we're gonna have in three weeks from now because they're nice like that <laughs> so uh single key keyboards have you ever thought to yourself man i wish this keyboard only had a single key well, thanks to single key keyboards listening in on us because we're not recording this during private hours, they decided to sponsor us, and now you can get 10% off a single key keyboard if you go right now to their website. Have you guys gotten a chance to use it <laughs> since they started sponsoring this episode t 10 minutes ago? You know what? I uh, have, actually. And uh, the great, gotta love express the, shipping. The great thing about uh, single key keyboards is that during non-privacy hours, no one can decipher what I'm typing. Only I know what I'm typing. So it's like early on in beta mode. And so like we're getting like an early version of it just to test build. And yeah, um, oddly enough, I'm sure mine has arrived at my place, but I'm at Brent's house. So I got to try his version that he had. And um, it's really interesting. I'm intrigued to try it out more when I get, when I get home. Oddly enough, mm -hmm. I got the one with just a backspace and uh i feel like my uses are very limited but i'm very uh still enjoying my time for sure so make sure you get yourself a single key keyboard today and moving on we got segment c and everyone knows segment c stands for seven degrees of separation and so the this is definitely not an idea i ripped from a tv show on cable television but what's cable television that's right doesn't exist anymore it's mine now <laughs> uh, and so the the theory of seven degrees of separation is that you know every other person on earth within seven people on a first name basis so i know daniel daniel knows uh someone someone knows someone someone, knows someone and then we know will smith and so also if you know 
of a connection to Will Smith, let us know because, as always, open invite to Will Smith on the podcast. Anyway, so the the goal of today is people people's too easy. Uh, we're gonna do it with things. So on randomlist.com, we're, I'm gonna have it generate two random things, and we're gonna have to connect them within seven ideas or less. And so, first off, we got paper and food. We're starting paper, with paper. Trees. Yep, fruit. Starting with paper, going to fruit. Fruit. Oh, <laughs> uh, a fruit cake. Ever and so everyone I'm has t- to take their own path too. Oh gosh, uh, I'm just trying uh, to make it unnecessary. Or no, we'll, we'll do we'll do no, 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 we'll do it one at a time. We'll do it one at a time. All right. Paper, trees, fruit, do you, do you, seeds. You've done so growth. many. You've you've done too many. Bacteria. I said one. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> just like make it unnecessarily longer. Food, bacteria, food. They're just a connection. Yeah. I don't think bacteria Yeast. is food. <laughs> right. Uh, paper, paper cranes, which is origami. Japan, Japan has food. <laughs> uh, uh, we might as well be doing wiki races right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That paper. That honest homework. Would not be entertaining. Uh, paper homework. Mental exhaustion. Okay. Uh re energy replenished uh food i like it um honestly all right we could we could change this on the fly really quick we could literally turn it into wiki race but the you just have to guess something that's on the page and yeah, yeah all right on the on the spot so wiki, <laughs> wiki race if you don't know is uh basically so uh explain what wiki race is while i so wiki race is this um you know it started off as an independent thing but then someone ended up making a website i believe the website is the wikigame.com don't remember it's been a while since i played um but basically it's it everyone gets into like basically a game lobby and then it loads you into wikipedia on a certain page and your goal is to get to a certain other page and as few clicks and as fast as possible. Um, so for instance, it might ask you, it might start you on the page for Germany and then you have to get to Elvis Presley. And so you might go Germany oh, and you Europe. can only use hyperlinks in the Wikipedia article. Yeah. You have to like get there through hyperlinks in Wikipedia. Okay. So we're changing yeah. the game on the fly. Instead of getting to come up with stuff, we can only use the things that have hyperlinks on Wikipedia. So Lindsay, you can open Wikipedia as well. We're starting at game controller and we have to get to screw. Give and me, so give me two seconds. Uh we have to You said guess game something. controller? Alright. Um uh, my vote is joystick. Joystick for getting to screw? Uh yeah, game controller. And we're trying to get to screw. Yeah because uh, joysticks are usually wait are we doing this together yeah okay um are we picking together or is we just going off what daniel's saying we get uh, pick together okay. you, you can alternatively we could go to battery and then try to get to like battery pack which has like a screw hole in it yeah maybe i have it feels like we're close already I, i'm okay with joystick sure Okay, so we've gone to joystick, and then what what connection from joystick to screw could we have? I feel like we could, if we could get into like maybe a motherboard or yeah, yeah, like PCB. I don't know on a printed circuit board. Um, See Dual Shock. Uh, hall effect uh which is <laughs> so, it has to do with um like magnetic fields and electricity being created uh, i feel like i don't know i don't think that would get us there Anal- i saw analog stick up there but i don't know how that would get us closer than all right wait hear me out what if we went to some specific game console and then through the diagram, we could find what kind of. What about has. ground, as in earth ground, like 
the electrical i i think that's a good thing you think so yeah because the like there's literally a you, you use screws in earth ground i'm going to earth ground so it's ground did, did you see that hyperlink Lindsay? i did not it was next to you, a picture towards the top of a serial port you can just look up ground parentheses electricity on wikipedia um okay so oh there's one in the with, picture yeah um so electrical circuit uh circuit breakers i'm just thinking of hard single um, wire earth return if we got to like do you think it'll talk about uh does it have a history section because it might talk about power outlets there's a design. And power outlet covers will have a screw on it section five is design Uh, capacitor counterpoise that's for antennas though Hmm. specifically i feel like we Um, may have gone wrong at joystick (laughs) (laughs) i I don't think it was any better or worse so you you could maybe go impedance and then get to material i don't know i like i the biggest issue is like i think i could get to like steel or something but i don't know about wait what about voltmeter uh i don't think that would get us there i'm still well i don't know i'm still kind of on the battery pack trade of thought. all right all right we'll, we'll go volt are we on um, so we're going to screw yeah yeah our, our goal is screw uh unless you have a better idea from um ground we the last one was ground electricity right yeah, yeah i i kind of wanted impedance but what do i know uh um okay executive decision we're going to resistor (laughs) okay um and from resistor normally it's not this bad because this this is we're we're pushing seven this is like five i we'll we'll go back and (laughs) find out um because oh let me me think how i would have gotten there so it controller and then a controller to screw like i could get there but i don't know if i could get there in a way that would make sense to get there through wikipedia <laughs> like uh, controller i know for sure i saw nintendo and atari on that page um nintendo nintendo we try wing screw actually if we did go down the Nintendo train, it might bring up the fact that they use uh, tri-wing screws instead of Phillips head or flathead. Hmm. The... <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like he's so close. Everything they have pictures D- for. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing we've gone down has been close. It's just some things have pictures where it's like, oh, this device has a screw on it. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just being like I said, we're together. so close. Um the oh man. So cuz we get we're on resistor right now. I'm uh, going rogue. I'm going my own path. I'm kind of been going rogue too and it's not Oh my goodness, <laughs> whatever. Let's start. Right. Give us a new one. Give us a new one. Could uh, Well, hold on, hold on. Well, I believe we give this one no round. Uh, we we'll, we got one more minute and then we'll try another one. Right. Um, Where you guys? What page are you on? Brent? I'm on resistor right now. The first uh, one you went to was video game controller. Mount. Yeah, game just game controller. Game controller. There. Oh, is. surface mount technology. Come on, baby. Surely, uh, solder. Uh, uh, uh. SNES, Nintendo. Mm surface tension people we need to entertain the public here someone uh, talk through your thought process as you're going i i i believe in the tri-wing screw process from nintendo i just have to find my way to like gamecube controllers or we like anything from we on because i'm pretty sure everything since then uses tri-wing oh hold on n64 we you probably gets us there hang on hang on currently on surface mount which you would think 
mounting, hardware? you're pretty close, right? Uh, I feel like hardware is just going to talk about the technical. Deionize. Oh, Ooh, deionize water. Now we're talking. <laughs> L- Lindsay, what, what are you doing here? What What's your... Uh... Uh, I am currently <laughs> uh, on power supply unit and found the term screw, but it's not hyperlinked. <laughs> God, doesn't count. Oh. I know. Oh, that's, that's why cool. I haven't said anything. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're close. I... <sighs> I'm on through hole technology, which feels very adjacent to what I want. But I am it is not computer what I want. case screws, screws. Oh, Come on. Right. Screw. I'm, on. I'm there. Give, I'm there. Give, give us, nice. give us your path. Okay, I'll go backwards. Yes. Screw, computer case screws, uh, motherboard, <laughs> power supply unit, four terminal sensing, uh, resistor, uh, ground electricity joystick game controller dang i don't want to give up but i do feel like me being currently on magnetic flux (laughs) means that it'll be a decent amount of time before i end up where i want to be all right we're restarting we're we're trying another one all right okay we're starting at shampoo shampoo okay and your goal is to get to speakers speakers okay Uh uh i see a lot of uh All ingredients right. chemicals yeah yeah we got history here what did you say what was the second uh, word that we're supposed speakers, to speakers speakers like sound speakers speakers okay. uh dandruff i'm right. thinking maybe if they talk about shampoo in your ear <laughs> that's that's what i'm thinking like right here All right well i'm going to hair hair yeah imagine being that dumb i'm going to parasite okay <laughs> <all right. laughs> um Ooh, uh, uh, man i have a hard time deciding things and then from hair i'll go to gray hair gosh i haven't picked one for the first one. Oh wait no I'm, I'm on indian subcontinent oh actually i'm still on hair this is a subsection of of I'm going my old strategy. I'm so going. I'm I'm in India right now. Okay. Um. I'm going to toxicity from shampoo. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the economic right. industries of well, India. Now I'm on the Mar- Marie Antoinette syndrome. Health. Uh, the hazards. automotive industry. I don't care about. Ooh, it. I, I, would it get me closer? Okay. Serious eye down. I'm going to click eyes. Okay. An eye, and everyone knows an eye is just an ear waiting to happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, autoimmune. What am I getting to? Speakers. Speakers. <laughs> I, I'm I'm spending so much time trying to get to ear. Anatomical. <laughs> and you know what? I think Brent had the right idea. Anatomical countries. Terminology. Oh, energy. Uh, access to electricity. All right, that's where we're at right now. All right. So I'm at shampoo. Going to children. What a motor. Because technically a speaker just vibrates stuff, right? Um, Human. No now, now I'm on Richard Louvre. Uh, there's no motor Here. in a speaker. Now I'm on the San uh, Diego Union Tribune. I'm on the history of technology. I am on anatomy. Uh, ooh, right, uh, California. Consumer or technology. Uh, 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 oh, come on. Gosh. The history of knitting, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not. Media? I, I feel like <laughs> mine should have been so much faster, but I am just. Timeline of lighting technology. Torso neck. Oh, limbs. this, this may Let's have been go, bad. All right. Let's click Voice brain. of San Diego. Uh, oh, Philips? Philips makes speakers, don't they? Mm. What does Philips do? <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. I'm not going to Voice of San Diego. Uh, uh, oh, radio station, come on, oh, baby. Federal Communications no way, Commission. Va- <laughs> no. Radio? Vacuum tubes. Oh, I'm on radio. I'm on vacuum tubes. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Co- speakers on Sound radio. recording and reproduction. Uh, uh, come on. I could go to music. Uh, oh, sound. It, it has to sound. Be here. Come Ste- on. Stereophonic sound. sound. Two loudspeakers. Sound waves. 
How does loudspeaker not connect to speaker? How does sound not connect to speaker? <laughs> I feel like this counts. <laughs> Di diaphragm uh, speaker enclosure oh come on speaker drivers loud, loud speaker speaker Get it went to loudspeaker hold on i i think loudspeaker is what is goes speaker to not oh. there's a chance like speaker specific yeah hold on check if and we're checking and we're checking there's computer speakers Okay, oh, but loud, which loud is speaker. a subset of loudspeakers. Right. I got the loudspeaker first. I, so. I don't know. Nah, I, I got the loudspeaker like five minutes ago. <laughs> I don't believe you. All right, here's the path for those of you following at home. From, from diaphragm, so we're going backwards from loudspeaker, diaphragm acoustics, then of course you got sound, then of course you got sound recording and reproduction, vacuum tube, and then you got Philips, and then you got timeline of lighting technology, and then you've got. Uh, the history of technology, and then you've got uh, electrification, and then you've got India, and then you've got the Indian subcontinent, <laughs> and of course you started at shampoo. So, and for me, so loudspeaker, stereophonic sound, um, radio in the United States, uh, the FCC, uh, San Diego. The San Diego Union Tribune, Richard Louvre, <laughs> Child, <laughs> Shampoo. <laughs> so that was like nine for me or something. I was not counting. All right, we're, we're gonna, we've got time for one more. Uh, Lindsay, did you end up getting to speak? I was at a hearing. No, I was not really there whatsoever. I'll imagine being that bad. I won the All first right. round. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so we are starting at leg warmers, and we need to get to plate. Oh, leg, that's such an easy connection. Is that right? Plate, leg warmer? as in like a yeah, like a dinner plate. A dinner plate. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. All right, all right, let's go. Yeah. So we're going to S socks. I'm on synthetic fibers, and <laughs> okay. now I'm on ankle. I'm gonna go to spats. I'm on the old on United. The States. Russo leg? Japanese war. No, Japanese army. Sorry, <laughs> no Italian. Italian. That's more the human body. Uh, culture, uh, come on, food, come on, <laughs> cuisine, cuisine, Something cuisine. about face or mouth. We're over here at American Cuisine. <laughs> Stomach. Cooking methods. Chewing. Uh, uh, food. We're going with grilling. Uh, frying pan. Balinese cuisine, pan or Balinese, I suppose. Who we're we're on cookware and bakeware. All right, uh, dishes. Uh, 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 come no, on. No, it's not in the dishes subsection. You're kidding me. I have the. Or I see plate. Is there? Orange oh, juice? Hold on. I need to find my way to a restaurant. Mm. Indonesian cuisine. Uh, meal structure. Oh, modest local eateries. Oh my goodness, I'm on hot plate. <laughs> uh, breakfast. Cafe. Uh, does anyone oh. know of any glassware that's also a plate? <laughs> no, any glassware that's also a plate? <laughs> plate is a glassware. <laughs> the, uh... All right. Uh, hmm. I, we, also... I feel like we always need to double check because, like, we're not getting them directly from Wikipedia. Double check that plate is something on Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, plate, parentheses, so dishware. Cafeteria. Oh, bake. Uh, I want. Mm, this is cookware. Buffet? Pots. Put a pressure cooker. No, but I need. Oh, come on. There has to be plate and Kitchenware. <sighs> oh, this is killing me. Come on. Come on, Wikipedia. <laughs> Cake opener. Can opener. Cake I... opener. Uh, dinnerware. Come on, baby. <laughs> Cutlery no. and glassware. You're missing something. <laughs> You're missing something, Wikipedia. 
restaurant buffet. You're kidding. Tableware, and you, you don't have eat. a plate? Uh, tableware can be made. Oh, you can eat restaurants. Plates. Come on, plates. Come on. Buffets. You have a subsection labeled plates, but you don't have a hyperlink <laughs> to plates. Yes, I have a plate on this. I, oh, gosh. All right, we're going back to restaurant. I see tableware. Wait, do you do tableware or dishware, Brent? Um, uh, I, I've been everywhere, so. <laughs> I'm going. That, I'm still plates on the don't trade. exist. Cutlery, Did, according to Wikipedia. Drink, well, plates. Plates. Plates, plates, dishware. Uh, ha ha ha! The winning path, if you are curious, you go. So we've each won one. Start going from <laughs> plate dishware. You were at tableware, then you were, you were at kitchenware. Before that, cookware and bakeware, frying pan, grilling, American cuisine, United States, synthetic fiber, leg warmer. Nice, nice. Dang. And that's how you get oh, to plate. Bulks. I just, I, I was one click away as well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give mine because sure. why not? I plate. Go for it. Saucer, table setting, uh, tableware, dish parentheses food, pizza, categories types of food, category world cuisine, bread breakfast italian cuisine uh italy uh spats parentheses footwear and leg warmer there wow you go. all right wait what made you pick spats because you guys were already like one or two links up so i just picked we one. already we already <laughs> picked the best ones of synthetic fiber yeah i i went to and socks, socks. <laughs> yeah. was like don't know what this is i'm just gonna click it I'm still not at plate. This is ridiculous. All right. Well, and Daniel's going to stay at not plate because he's just not a plate kind of guy. And that's going to bring us to the end of the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow. Uh, Twitter, we're, the manager's been on it, Frederick. Uh, Frederick is tweeting every single hour on the hour on Sundays. <laughs> uh, one hour of the day. And so uh go ahead on twitter see what see what we're saying uh it might surprise you i i yeah it'll surprise you definitely we're saying some pretty insane stuff on there exactly new breakthroughs uh, okay. in okay uh, podcasting technology in all seriousness uh, uh be sure to follow the twitter page as the manager that may or may not be named frederick is posting uh at or near the time that episodes are released with highlights from the episode highlighted uh topics of the episode to uh get you excited for the episode uh let us know if there's something else you want the manager to be tweeting out and uh the manager has been uh tweeting out to specific people trying to grow our fan base so you should do that too because we're your favorite podcast obviously so we need your help uh don't make us carry all the weight uh our backs are hurting from uh, carrying the team and by our backs i mean the manager's back frederick's back Fre frederick poor frederick <laughs> yeah the there's so much uh canon we bombastic few lore being revealed in this uh this episode yep. F uh, final thoughts does anyone have any because you guys never know. um yeah I, I feel like we have to um maybe uh, whether on the air or off the air we have to settle who is the best wikipedia racer because we each won one and so i mean you kind of tied for one daniel so i don't know if no could... i got there at I'm least gonna, 30 I, seconds to a minute before brett i'm gonna give you I a half know. i'll give you each a half a point for that one and then dude no there's no shot yeah <laughs> i said loudspeaker like four links before brett and then i was unheard of find my way to speak it doesn't matter um, uh frederick's I'm, here and I'm he's telling me that uh book. uh we'll give this win to brent Oh wow! Uh, Thanks, Frederick. Frederick, Frederick always in, got my back. In in lieu of your bonus this episode. Oh well. <laughs> oh no, my zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> I I don't know how I'm gonna live without that. Lindsay, final thoughts. Uh, I've said my piece. All right. Uh, shout out to mom, Will Smith. Of course, this isn't this isn't a joke. 
get on Did, the podcast now. This uh, is a threat. I, I have now. a new final thought. Uh, if you've ever used uh, lip balm, you should know uh, when using this product, keep out of eyes. <laughs> or don't, because that's just the Department of Transportation Global trying to convince you. That's how you can see everything. Is your eyes are just too chapped to to see the truth. Anyway, with that, have a bombastic week. We'll see you next time.